I have this one and it smells really 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 good I also have this one it smells good this one is called the magnetic candy and this one is called the flower bed I want to get another one um I want to get that new um Latafa perfume I think I'm gonna try this one though So I am on step 19 and it's telling me that I have to secure this L bracket to the wall. And I don't know how to feel about that because what if I decide I want to move this shelf? Oh, you know what? If I move it, I probably have to unscrew it, which may not be so bad, but then it's going to leave a hole in the wall. And it's telling me to use um, a hammer and all of that. Fits wall anchor into the wall, fits the unit to the wall. Mm. I guess to prevent it from falling and then it says do my sh shelf positions <clears throat> which that's the final step because this is what it looks like right now but I'm feeling a way about using this to mount to the wall because if I decide I want to move it it's going to leave a big hole so I'm going to see how secure it's not really that secure but maybe I'm going to see how secure it is without putting this up there. What I might do is get like a big rock and put it in the bottom of one of my purses to keep it from leaning forward. But I don't know y'all. Like, I'm going to ask my husband what he thinks I should do. And then if I have to put this to the wall, then I will. And if I decide that I want to move it, I'm going to just have to go get some putty and cover the hole and paint over it. Because I have paint um for things like this in the event that i do have to paint over something and so for right now i'm gonna leave it here and then i'll show y'all what the finishing looks look like Okay, y'all, this is what the shelf is looking like. I feel like I was not able to put that many purses on this shelf. So I'm gonna start from the top. I got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. <clears throat> that can fit on the shelf. I was going to do like some of these and put behind, which I still may do because I have space back here. I just tried to do that though before I started recording and it looked tacky. And so, um, this is what the shelf looks like after you put it together. It has one, two, three, four, five slots. I also put my towel warmer in here because when I get the chair, I'm gonna probably put it right here in this area. And then if I wanna throw a throw blanket in here to cover up with to just come in here and relax, I'll have my towel warmer in here because it's not really cold yet. It's not like the winter time. And so I'm gonna leave it in here instead of taking it in my bathroom. Um, and y'all tell me what y'all think it was only 40 bucks and i also found one at walmart that was like 34 so i guess it's just a personal preference on where you want to get it from you can get it from walmart or you can get it from target i'm pretty sure you can go to ikea or whatever but this is what the shelf looks like because i'm trying to figure out what i want to do with this room 
these are my shoes which i have more shoes i also have more purses but i was not able to fit them on this shelf and <clears throat> that was pretty much it i'm going to do something with all of these jackets but overall this is what the room looks like i have to finish painting a little bit more i'm also going to figure out if i can bring my shades in here get like a shade rack or either um put my perfumes on here but my perfumes are in my bathroom but y'all tell me what y'all think i also have to hang up curtains and i already showed y'all what this area looks like well that was pretty much it for this room y'all tell me what y'all think i am gonna go downstairs and eat and probably start working on what i'm gonna do with these dog on jackets i also have to go in there and clean out more things in this closet because i have a lot of shoes and purses in here and i was thinking like i'm gonna just separate them by winter fall spring and summer purses that way i can put the ones that i don't use during the fall in the closet and the ones you know what i'm saying like rotate them out based off of the season and we'll go from there and my shoes i gotta get more storage containers for my shoes and i get my storage containers from the container store you can order them offline or you can go to a store near you or just look it up to see how far it is the one that we have is located in raleigh which is like a, a hour drive for us and so every time we go to raleigh well not every time but when we go to raleigh and i think about getting containers for my shoes i will grab some Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia Danielle. If you are new, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and rocking with me. Your support means so much. And so yesterday I recorded a whole video and I went back and looked at it because I was making the edits. And I had this white ring at the bottom and the top of my lip. And y'all girlies I already know what I'm talking about because we put on lip gloss and we put on chapstick and we put on whatever, the Fenty. And we end up having that white line at the bottom and the top and I was doing the edits and I was just like should I upload this video it's gonna be looking real crazy if I upload this video that's 40 minutes that everybody is watching with the white with that white stuff around my lips and so I wasn't gonna do it I'm not gonna do it to y'all because I'm pretty sure if I was looking at it the whole time that I was making my edits and that means that y'all gonna be looking at it the whole time while y'all are watching the video but yesterday y'all I went to Target I went to Home Goods I went to Walmart I went to Hobby Lobby because I took the day off which was Monday because I got promoted on Friday and I just wanted to have some time to relax, um, kumbaya, catch up on some things. And by me going to Target yesterday, I ended up getting a bookshelf, which I will show y'all, which I showed y'all based off of the video that I did record yesterday. The bookshelf was $40. I will link it down below because it's on my LTK. And again, I got it from Target. I didn't get nothing from Hobby Lobby. I didn't get anything from Home Goods. I wanted to get another mirror, but the mirror was $1.99, y'all. So I did not get the mirror. But on Friday, I got my I got promoted. I had a great promotion outcome. I was not overwhelmed. I was not stressed. And then on Saturday, I took Jada to NC State. They had open house. And then on Sunday, my homegirl left to go back to Nashville, Tennessee because she came down to promote me. Her name is Angel. If you have not watched that last video, then go check her out because she just made some first class and I was there to promote her. And so she came down here to promote me and my other best friend, Shayna, she promoted me as well. So my, sh my friend Shayna promoted this side and my friend Angel promoted this side. I am working on editing those videos. And so I'm not sure if this video will get a little up upload it first before those but I did two videos one video was in regards to me like getting my uniform together going to Publix getting a fruit platter just doing all of the things that I needed to do to get myself ready for my promotion and then the second video that I still need to edit is me my promotion ceremony like capturing the moments capturing me raise, raising my right hand saying the oath me getting pinned um showing y'all a little bit of the museum because I am stationed at Fort Liberty formerly known as Fort Bragg and so I have two videos and when I tell y'all life be lifing and when I tell y'all content creators who are doing their thing consistently I appreciate you but I have a nine to five I am at duty and so being able to do and create content and upload videos consistently is extremely hard for me and, and I want to also talk about that that is part of what I did yesterday in regards to the video I was basically saying like listen 
The army is not forever, okay? And I have had so many people come for me and I don't understand why people can't mind their business when it pertains to what I post on social media, regardless if I'm in uniform, outside of uniform, um, regardless if I'm jump jumping on a trend, regardless if I am doing whatever it is, no one wants to talk about and capture the positive things that I talk about or the motivational things that I talk about or the fact that I created a whole team channel for everybody to have continuity templates for awards. Um, my warrant packet, my PPO NCO warrant packet is in that team channel. Like no one focuses on the positive. It is so negative. And so I have been trying to steer away from doing military videos, but it's so hard for me because that is my life every day, nine to five. And so for the content creators who are doing their thing and they are posting consistently, I really appreciate it. I go on YouTube and I watch y'all. I be on TikTok and I watch y'all. But being that the army is not permanent for me, I feel like I will be slow transitioning to create other content I love to clean um, I love to purchase things as far as like perfume I have an LTK I have an Amazon storefront and I just don't understand why people can't mind their business like I just don't it doesn't make sense for me and so I wanted to talk to y'all about that I am getting ready for work I have my new uniform because I made CW2 October the 12th and I don't want to ramble on but I want to kind of like give y'all an update on what's been going on with me and so I have been getting laser hair treatments and I graduated under my underarms and being that I graduated under my underarms I have noticed that I sweat more and I don't know if I'm sweating more because there's no hair there or if it's because it's the deodorant but I use vegan plant-based deodorant and so I think I'm going to change out the deodorant still want to use the plant-based vegan deodorant I'm just going to use a different brand right now I'm currently using Shia Moisture um Shia Moisture I think that's how you call it I graduated like I don't have any hair I don't have to shave I don't have to wax I don't have to do anything and I also did my Brazil Brazilian area and buttocks area and total I think I paid like maybe three thirty five hundred dollars and I make monthly payments of 123 every month and I did started this two years ago and so I'm almost done with the payments I believe I don't know I, I can't do the calculations right now in my head and um overall it was worth it I graduated my underarms I still have like two more sessions for my Brazilian and buttocks area now the pain tolerance was really really bad but they have this new coolant cold machine where when they are doing the laser is like ice cold as well and so I don't feel anything but before y'all I was almost about to fall off the bed multiple times so getting laser hair removal I highly 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 recommend I go to Milan laser and even though I graduated if I have any hair growth that comes back over time I can just walk in I don't have to pay anything and I'm good to go also I got some new fragrances that I want to show y'all I got before the rainbow by Finery. I got Candy by Yara Latafa. I got so many new fragrances, y'all. I picked one up yesterday from Target called Before the Rainbow by Finery. This one smells really, really good, y'all. I highly recommend if you are looking for something that's very inexpensive. It was only 14 bucks. This one is called ja Jawad by Latapa. This one was inexpensive as well. It was about 20 bucks. This one is by Latapa as well. It is called Candy. This is on the pricey side a little bit. It was $49.99 and the last one that I recently picked up is called Now Women by La Tapa as well and this one was about like maybe 21 bucks and so if you are on a budget I recommend you get like these um, inexpensive ones because they smell really really good but this one since it was a brand new release it was 50 bucks I'm not really sure if it's on sale now because I got this about a month ago when it first dropped but it smells so good y'all so um, if y'all are looking for some new perfumes to add to your collection these are some that I recently picked up and I highly recommend recommend all five stars now the thing with perfumes is perfumes don't last all day and so for me I pack a perfume in my purse and I spray it you know before I leave the house I spray it after lunch or I just spray it whenever because even though you buy expensive perfumes they don't last all day they just don't that's just what it is okay um, so I have been decorating my house and I want to be a minimalist because I don't like to hoard things and so I have a bonus room that I am going to show you guys which I showed yesterday so I'm going to insert some clips of me putting up my boot stand and all of that but I want to show it to y'all because um 
being that I want to be minimalist, I only want to put like a couch in there or like a chair that can pull out into like a bed or like a futon type thing or whatever. I don't want to put a full size bed in there. I just want to keep the room, you know, strictly minimalist and all of that. Basically bare bones. I have some winter jackets and things that I need to put up. I have a coat rack that I need to take care of. And I still have some things that I need to do in that room. I just want to show y'all what it is looking like and how far I have came with the room so far and then I also just got a towel warmer my homegirl Jasmine bought it for me for me for me as a promotion gift and so I'm gonna show you what that looks like I will also link that down below if you are thinking about purchasing it I know right now it is the fall so it's not as cold I put it in the bonus room because even though it's not cold right now you can throw throw blankets in there and if you decide you want to you know get nice and cozy you can take it out of the towel warmer in the towel warmer you can put towels washcloths um socks pajamas throw throw blankets and all of that and so if you want one of these i will link that down below as well because it is on my amazon storefront because my homegirl purchased it for me and lastly before i get ready to head to work because i want to close out this video i basically touched bases on talking to y'all about my day yesterday also i also filled out applications for Jaden because the free college application week started yesterday which was monday and it ends on friday and so if you have a upcoming or an upcoming senior that's about to graduate then look in your state to see when the free application process will be because those applications range from 50 to 80 bucks and i am so glad that i hopped on it because now i don't have to pay that just to fill out an application for him to apply to a school and so i applied for a t fsu nc state nc central um once in Salem and a few others yesterday and then this week throughout the up uh, this week I will apply to some more in North Carolina I honestly don't want him to go to school close to home because I want him to just get the feel of what life is and be able to be responsible and if he needs me just pick up the phone but I don't want to be like within distance of you know what I'm saying like always helping him do things because I do everything for Jay like literally um so I did that and we have been eating our hello fresh meals y'all they taste so good so for example we had like pasta and mushrooms we had mushroom a panini mushroom with swiss cheese sandwich like the hello fresh meals are so good so if you are trying to figure out what meals to cook throughout the week then hello fresh is a really good option there was another one that i seen but i don't want to be stuck with microwaving a lot of stuff because you can basically like the meal comes and i think it's called farm fresh but the meals come already done and you just pop it in the microwave and i don't think it's good to like heat up food you know what i'm saying and all of that so we have been eating hello fresh meals and this is pretty much it y'all in regards to my promotion and everything like that i have two videos that i'm trying to work on editing and getting uploaded for you all so if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for your support make sure you like this video make sure you share this video make sure you ask me any questions that you may have make sure you have any comments that you want to leave down below please leave any comments y'all tell me what y'all think but based off of this video and me like trying to do my bonus room I got on here to basically say that I will slowly be transitioning from talking about military things because somebody is always coming for me I don't think it's that serious I'm a warrant officer they're talking about this is a quiet profession you know delete this chief and why are you talking about that chief I didn't know you had a tattoo of SVAB I didn't know this I didn't and I'm just like jeez like I don't mind telling y'all my personal business I don't mind being in front of a camera and talking but that does not mean you have to be negative towards me that does not mean that you have to jeopardize my career that that does not mean that you have to do what you think is the right thing because somebody is making content we are in the new times it's 2024 like social media came out over two decades ago when it first started with myspace then facebook now instagram now tiktok um twitter has been out and threads and so i'm just like listen jump on the bandwagon like no one likes change we we don't but that's just what it is and so you're gonna have to adapt and adjust but until then i'm gonna slowly transition from talking about military things unless y'all want me to keep going and if y'all do it's Going to be based off of what y'all want me to talk about this is pretty much it for today's video until next time my name is amelia peace all right y'all this is what the bonus room is looking like and i'm gonna go over everything for you all just in case you are interested in purchasing some of the same things that i have in this room and so this socket cover came from amazon 
Um, the chair and the desk came from Amazon. That mini fridge in the corner came from Amazon as well. Ring light came from Amazon. I need to get some curtains. I just don't know what color I want to do or what color curtain rods I want to do. This swivel um jewelry box came from amazon as well which i posted this on my instagram so go follow me at amelia g5587 y'all if y'all want to see the inside of my jewelry box and, and check out all of the specs and all of the things and how it actually looks on the inside because i love it you hear me um the bookshelf came from target it was 40 bucks i have my kate spade jjw I think it's called pie. Yeah, my JW pie purse, my Aldo's purse, my fashion made me do it purses, my Amazon purchases, and my Tefar purses. I think what I'm going to do because I have so many purses in this closet, y'all. Purses and shoes are in this closet. <clears throat> And I'm thinking about buying another bookshelf because I want to add my perfumes, my shades, and some more purses here. But I think in regards to like my purses, I am going to, I'm going to do for the bookshelf in regards to my purses is take out like my fall purses and winter purses. And then if they are, you know, spring, summer, or whatever, I'm going to transition those um, over time because I don't want to get a whole bunch of bookshelves and the purses are just sitting here because I just want this room to be minimalist, if you know what I mean. And then here is our warmer that my homegirl got me. I am loving it so far. I put my pajamas in here, my towel in here, um, my socks in here. And I was just like, you know what? I can put a throw blanket in here as well for this room when I get my chair if I get cold or whatever and I can transition this into my bathroom when it is the winter time but there are four different settings 15 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes and 60 minutes which is a long time but I will link it down below and then I just have my shoe containers my shoe containers came from the container store if you don't have one located close to you or near you you can order them online and they will ship them to your house and these are the winter jackets that I was telling y'all that I'm going to go through and put in in the closet I just have some that I have not worn still brand new or I only wore them one time and I'm either going to transition them into this closet or I'm going to transition them downstairs I just don't want this in here in the wall socket plate and I have to change this one out as well but this is pretty much what this room is looking like right now so far I have my boo basket that my homegirl got me I feel like I went over everything that came in it but if not I will show it to y'all really really quick girl got me a throw blanket she got me gift cards from sephora um starbucks and target she got me some hand sanitizer she also got me a cup and she got me some halloween socks and a candle and so if you are thinking about doing a boo basket for whoever then that um is basically what it is you you basically get things and put them in a basket and it's called a boo basket for the month of october or like if you just want to do a basket for your boo thing or like your friend or whatever you can just dictate and decide on what you want to put in there but this is pretty much it for this video to finish getting ready for work i have on my brand new uniform and my new top says cw2 on it and so this was pretty much it for today's video i hope i hope y'all liked what y'all see i hope y'all return and I will be uploading those two promotional videos as soon as possible y'all I just have a lot going on I have two kids one is eight one is 18 one is about to go to college one is you know in football and sports that I have to stay on him in regards to school you know I have to spend time with my husband I have to spend time with my friends and so being a content creator I really appreciate y'all thanks for being consistent you know what I'm saying but um this was pretty much it again I hope y'all like what y'all see peace